Welcome back to Salmon Trout Steelheader. Really excited today. Gonna do some trout fishing with my buddy Bill Herzog. Haven't fished with him in a long time and uh, made a long ride up from Portland, uh, you know, up here to Eastern Washington and really looking forward to it. And welcome to the Yakima River. This is my backyard, kiddies. I live about a nine iron downstream from here. And we're gonna do some trout fishing today. It's March. Uh, the river's starting to come alive. You can hear the birds in the background. It's springtime fishing here, and we got a lot of water. We got about a thousand CFS more than usual, which for right now, eh, we can fish it. The water's clear. We have clarity. Uh, how the well, bite's going to be and how it affects the water that I've learned, we're going to find out. We're going to go for a nice float today. It is beautiful outside. It's going to be in the 60s. Uh, if we don't catch fish, it's going to be our fault. Our plan for the day is we're going to launch right up here. And we're going to make about a four mile float. We have about a half a dozen holes to fish. Problem is when the water gets this high, it's, there's nothing wrong with the color. The fish just get really spread out and they get really hard to find. So what we're going to do today is we're going to fish a couple of spots really hard and hopefully we'll find some fish. We'll see. Well, here we are at the tent to put in. As you can see, we got a lot of water today, man. This is a thousand CFS higher than I like to see it. It's still fishable. But the problem is the uh, fish get really spread out and they're hard to find. There's not as many trout in here as uh, everybody would think. The Yakima is uh, well known as a blue ribbon fishery, but the fish, there's only about 500 fish from per mile. And that means the fish that are usually kegged up in the lower water are all over the place. We got our work cut out for us today, kids. I'll tell you, we do. Well, we're getting ready to fish high water today. We have jigs, which look like sculpin in uh, quarter ounce and one eighth ounce. We have 2.5 maglet plugs, pretty bright ones today. Plugging should be a good way to get fish in the high water. How much plug water we have though when it's up like this, I don't know, we're gonna find out. And I have big bright rooster tails too. Silver blade, bright yellow, bright, 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 loud, bang, boom, wiggle, rattle. If it makes noise, and you can't smell, but it makes noise and it's bright, we'll see. Right, here we well, go. here we are. The good news today, our chances of running aground are zero. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna be hitting anything today. It's a beauty. Okay, well this happened quick. Um, one, Bill was just kind of showing me what to do. When one I cast and look at here. Oh, nice, look at here, dude. Rainbow. Nice job. Oh, look at that, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah. What a beautiful right. job. Beautiful. Sweet. 16, 17 inches. Nice. All right. Well, let's get yeah, him yeah, yeah. back in the water. Okay. He's going back home. See you, dude. Thanks. Wow. Nice. All right. Yeah, we're not stopping you. Well, we've been fishing the edges today, and the edges have been paying off so far. Nick just got this beautiful. This is about as big as they get here in the Yakima. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, about an 18, 19 inch. Native rainbow, me steelhead. Steelheading in miniature, kids. This is this is how we do it right here. Any he pretty? He ate a eighth ounce rooster tail. Yep. Marble if I, you know, if I can just get the hold of this thing, it'll come right out. Bye, baby. Thanks for the ride. Nice job, man. Beautiful. See, that's that's why you got up and drove all this way today, right? <laughs> Guess right. what? The good water's still coming. here. So, uh, so what are we doing? We are right at the end of a plug spot right here that's got really weird in the high water and does not fish the same. So we're going to go back up. We're going to bring these in and go back upstream and go across. Found a nice slow edge in here. So we're going to try see if we can get something going on the jig. We don't have a lot of good jigging water today. The best jigging water is usually a slack edge uh, right next to the current. This is one of the few spots where we have that scenario exactly. With the jig, the trick is get it as close to the bottom as possible because bullheads, sculpin, dart along the bottom. They don't make big. When guys do, when they jig, they do this, they're working them wrong. You want that thing, just move your rod tip six to eight inches and make that, make that thing just hop a little bit like it's a distressed uh, little fish trying to get one between the rocks, trying to get away from a big rainbow. 
And we'll see. Usually this edge in here holds several really, really nice fish. But there's so much water today that could be anywhere with limited visibility. And I feel pretty fortunate we got two really nice trout already. But we should get in this stretch, should produce. Look at size of hey, it's going. Hi. Oh, there you go. There you go. What you get to do, <laughs> Nick? Getting your, oh, you're getting, get, this fish is incredible. You're getting it's stomped on, aren't you? You're getting yeah. stomped. Yeah, we're just floating along. How Cast about that first spinner. run it made, dude? It just, know, it just smoked you. It just smoked you, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, look at beautiful that. Beautiful rainbow. Fish. Oh, man. Beautiful rainbow. Let's see if I can do this and run the camera and be multitasking here. Nice job, man. What a beauty. What a beauty. Yeah, I can't believe it. Oh, what do we? Who we got here? He's he fought like a fish twice its size, didn't it? <laughs> what a beautiful rainbow, Mr. Romano! Wow! Oh my! That is a big one. <laughs> Look at that. That's 19 inches. Yeah, that fought like a steelhead. Yeah, it, it did. It did fight like a steelhead, man. Look at that. His trout gear. It beautiful. Just grabbed it, took off, hit ran a, all over the place. Hit a six-ounce uh, yellow and silver-bladed rooster tail. <laughs> yeah. Look at you. The man. Nick just caught that beautiful big wild rainbow on. I started. This is a Loomis seven and a half foot light rod. It's it's called the 901-2. It's two piece, seven and a half foot. I love it for jigging. It's good for every kind of trout fishing. I've landed rainbows up to 12 pounds on this. Not a problem. Everything from eight inches to eight pounds. Fun. My reel is just a standard issue 1000 Stratic. Shimano, I have 10 pound uh, Nanofill on there. This stuff does not twist. This, I've had this spool of Nanofill on here. Hard use. This is its second year. Normally, what do you do with mono after two trips? It starts flying off the spool and twist. The stuff does not twist. I unit knot seven or eight feet of eight pound, uh, 10 pound, clear 10 pound test to the end of it, where I put a bobber stop, two beads, and that is a, a sliding lead in there that does not slide. It's just inside the line so it doesn't pinch. Two beads, small number 10 swivel, 24 inches of eight pound uh, maximum ultra green, a one six ounce, Rooster tail, silver plated blade in this dark water you want pop, cold water you want, cold dark water you want the pop of that silver blade, and the bright yellow, they love yellow, so I don't know, but I, I uh, refigure these, I put a number three split, I cut the, the uh, uh, treble hook off, I put a number three split ring on there, a tiny number 12 swivel, and then a number two siwash hook, barbless siwash, so it hangs back so that if they nip, they get they get that when they nip and swivels on there because this hook will naturally turn and sit in the corner of the mouth no matter what wiggling around out there it goes to the corner of the mouth the corner of the mouth every stinking time you don't miss any bites and hanging back like that the one little larger hook you get a nice big fish like nick just had on there with no barb you want a good hook that's not just going to drop out and this combination right here will work in Washington, Oregon, it works great in Montana, I know that, and it works great here in my backyard on the Yakima River. Bill, what's yeah. the name of this spot? Uh, they say there's a something on the wall here that looks like a video game, and I'm not sure what they call it. <laughs> if it, I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is a good jigging spot? It's an amazing jigging spot. Normally, it's really slow and deep in here, but today, a, we have an extra 1,000 CFS, and uh, the editor here has seemed to just ma seemed to master the whole river today, so I'm just having a good time. <laughs> We're already, we've already caught three beautiful big rainbows today. I mean, two of them, two exceptional fish that uh, it would make anybody's day in any technique. <laughs> beautiful thing about fishing over here in my part of the world is you don't have to get up early. The fish bite best in the middle of the day, and that's year round that happens. You can put in when you want to. It's a relaxing float. There's no boat racing. There's no NASCARing downstream here, kids. It's, you fish at your own pace. You fish where you want, how you want, and you're always gonna catch some fish. Nick has another beautiful big rainbow on here. He caught on, of course, on the rooster tail. <laughs> you got a nice shallow right here for him. If you want, you want to hand me the rod. 
in a minute and you can just grab him. Just hand me the rod. Give yourself a rod length of line. Man. Let out some line. Okay, here you go. Grab me that. Okay, here we go. Oh, outstanding, brother. Look at here. Oh, that is just as pretty as the day is long, isn't it? Go ahead and lift him up. Just get a good shot of him. Good colors on that. Any beauty? Beautiful. It looks like a Deschutes River fish, right? River yeah, Rainbow? Yeah. A red side? Look at that. Okay. Is this thing still going? We got a black yeah. screen. Put, tap your finger on the back of it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's been going this whole time. Oh, okay. So All right. Oh, go. gorgeous. Lift him up. Just lift him up really quick to get a good shot of him. Okay, here we go. Real quick. All right, there. Very nice. Okay. Good job, man. Yeah. Go on this marbles hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Okay, my brother. There he goes. Him on the way. <laughs> that was great. Nice shooting, Tex. Here you go. Doesn't get any prettier than this, kids. That is a small end of the fish. This is the smallest one. This is probably 14 inches, 14, 15, but still nevertheless, he ate the little maglip. They love maglips in here, man. They love them. Here we go. We got our plug fish. Yay! Well, we've had an absolute wonderful day today. Um, you know, Bill let me uh, basically fish out of the front of his boat. Got some nice fish, and I'm gonna let Bill tell you all about the day. Well, we started out with not a lot of hope today. The water was so high, and we really wiped out a lot of holding water, a lot of places that I'm familiar with. But we fished anyway, we found some nice little edges, and Nick made really good casts, which is super important on a day when when I can't slow down, you get one shot at these spots. He made it count and got four or five, two exceptional big wild trout. It was a gorgeous day at 60 degrees. Uh, we saw one boat five minutes ago. You can't ask for a better day than this, kids.